Outside Buckingham Palace, an anxious crowd waits for news. Suddenly, the King has returned to London for reasons of health. Doctors hurry to and fro, and the world waits anxiously, and anxiety mounts as a messenger speeds from the palace. It is as a family that the King and Queen have grown to mean so much to us. They have taken us into their lives. They are a happy family. The young prince, just such a boy as the one next door. Now, in their hour of anxiety, we forget their royalty and remember that they are people, too. Concern grows as word passes that the royal family is assembling. Princess Margaret flies home from Balmoral to be near her father. And from France, the Duke of Windsor hurries to Marlborough House, where the Queen Mother lives, to seek news of his brother. Now, another son goes to the palace. And as the people still watch, Queen Mary leaves with her brother, the Earl of Athlone. And the world learns the grave news. In the skilled hands of one surgeon, Clement Price Thomas, lay the King's life. He performed the serious operation, and we know now he worked surely and well. By the irony of fate, he was later involved in an accident outside the palace. As the doctors worked, around the world great multitudes prayed. Whatever their creed, in great church and in small, in temple or wherever they might be, they prayed that a good man might have the strength he so greatly needed. The long uncertain hours pass and then comes the news, the operation is over. There are many anxious days ahead, there will be many more bulletins. But each day there grows stronger the belief that the King's life has been spared to us. And that before long we shall see his kindly presence moving once again among his people. <laughs>